and today's video is going to be another TJ Maxx haul, but this one has a little bit of a twist to it. I decided to go on the TJ Maxx website and browse around a little bit, and let me tell you, I found some really good deals, some super awesome and fun finds, so I'm going to share what I picked out with you guys today. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. I have so many TJ Maxx and Marshalls videos on my channel, it's crazy. I've been doing these for like two and a half years now or maybe even longer I don't know but um, I love TJ Maxx and Marshalls with all of my heart <laughs> so yeah I will leave the TJ Maxx website linked in the description box I will also leave my TJ Maxx and Marshalls haul playlist and my shop with me playlist as well if you're interested so let's go ahead and get started I did want to quickly mention that I just finished filming a review and demo of the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvita Pro Pigment Palette Volume 1 which is what I have on my eyes today so if you are interested in how I got this look then I will link that video in the description box and it will actually be there this time I messed up earlier this week I said a video would be linked in the description box but then I hadn't posted that video yet because I switched the order of them so my bad on that but it will actually be in the description box so check the link if you are interested in this look so first things first um, I was on their website and TJ Maxx has a website but Marshall's doesn't have their own like website that you can shop from but there is one for TJ Maxx and they have so much stuff on there it you can't like search the website so it's kind of difficult it's not difficult to use it's just it could be a lot easier but I'm guessing it has to do with um, like legalities legalities as to why you can't like search a brand name and then it comes up um, not sure exactly why that is but you can't do that with certain brands so um, you kind of just have to search what I did was I found the category that I wanted to to look for so for example beauty and then I did um, sort from most expensive to least expensive and I would assume that the more like designer higher end products would be the more expensive products so I kind of just went through backwards from most expensive to least expensive and just looked through I saw so many brands in their beauty section on their website I saw Natasha Denona I saw Gucci I saw Oribe I saw Kevin Aquan literally so many high-end expensive brands they also have a ton of high-end designer handbags again I saw Gucci I saw Fendi I saw Prada crazy expensive handbags that are still thousands of dollars but a lot cheaper than you would pay for them full retail value so I would recommend spending some time browsing through if you uh, you know just have some free time it was really fun for me to do um, so first thing that I got was actually from Gucci. I know I'm like turning into this person that is not me. <laughs> um, but I'm just kidding. I um, have been finding quite a bit of Gucci at TJ Maxx and Marshalls recently and it's been making me so excited because personally I like Gucci. I know there's a lot of hype around it but I did purchase my Gucci purse from the Gucci store in New York City and I have just fallen in love with that purse. That's like my most prized possession. Um, but I have found Gucci sunglasses. I found Gucci makeup. I found a Gucci scarf. Scarf, Gucci shoes at TJ Maxx and Marshalls in the past um, so I saw on their website that they had some jewelry from Gucci and I was looking through and I found this ring which I am wearing currently and I that it was love at first sight. So this is it right here. It is a sterling silver Gucci ring. It is um, just like solid sterling silver and it's in the shape of a butterfly which I thought was so cute. And it says Gucci made in Italy in very fine print on the front of the butterfly but it just has like a flat band around. Um, I'm not very good at describing jewelry but I thought it was so cute. I got it in a big size. I think I got it in like a size 9 maybe even a 10. I don't know but it is sterling silver and um, it's a little bit big for my middle finger but I don't know. I, I think it's cute. I, I, I absolutely love it. I've been wearing it non-stop um, and just so adorable they didn't have a ton of sizes but I did pick this up and it came in a little Gucci box right here and we've got the little like you know the business stuff and then a cute little dust bag as well so I tried to find this exact ring on Gucci's website but I couldn't find it I did find one that was similar it is um, this it's basically the same thing but instead of a butterfly it's a heart and on Gucci's website this is retailing for two hundred and five dollars but I did find this exact ring on sale on like a bunch of different websites like Poshmark and stuff used also new I think and there it ranged anywhere from two hundred and fifty dollars to like 
$450 ish. So um, that's like, you know, about two, a little over $200 would be my best guess for a retail value for this ring. Um, but I paid $149.99, which is a lot for a ring but um if you go to buy a ring at pandora a sterling silver ring that's gonna run you 90 to 100 bucks for like the small ones so um i didn't think it was a bad deal and i did get a size 10 by the way and i just thought it was really cute and i've been wearing it non-stop so that is the first thing that i got i love it <sighs> So cute. So that came in its own box and that came like two days after this next box that I got, which is so random. I got a little bit nervous when I got the first box and the ring wasn't in there, but then it wasn't on the little like packing slip. So I was like, okay, well maybe it's coming in a separate box. And sure enough, a couple days later, the ring showed up. So now I'm gonna show you a bunch of products that I picked up from the brand Oribe. This is everything else that I got. Um, I didn't get like a million products, but I got a lot of products that are more like pricier so um i have one two three four five orbe products to show you guys so the first product that i have to show you guys is the orbe run through detangling primer i got this product for 24.99 and um i don't think that this is available on orbe's website anymore but i did find it on i think amazon for 35 dollars so 10 dollars lower than the retail price that's my best guess at the retail price um but this is what the package looks like i will say that when i got this box um a lot of the actual unicartons and stuff were kind of like crunched um but the box itself wasn't crunched so i don't know if the boxes were uh like messed up before they were put into the shipping box but I don't know um so anyway this is the run through detangling primer i have very tangly hair so um when i saw detangling i was like oh give it to me so this is what the product looks like right here this is the 5.9 fluid ounce size it says mist lightly from roots to ends comb through effortlessly and style so i guess it's a spray i don't know why i did not think this was going to be a spray i thought it was going to be like a like a, a pump stuff but that sounds amazing. Let me go ahead and sniff it. <laughs> it smells good. Doesn't smell like anything crazy, but it smells good. Um, I have tried one Orbe product in the past and it's like the damage repair drops. Love those so much. It's like 58 bucks though, so it's ridiculously expensive, but um, I did want to uh, try as many out as I could. So I picked this up and I use a detangler every single day. So I know I'll get use out of this. I'll definitely try this out and let you guys know how it works and if it's worth the money. If you are unfamiliar with Orbe, they're just a really expensive hair care brand. Jaclyn Hill talks about the them all the time a lot of people love them they're sold at like blue mercury nordstrom um places like that so uh yeah <laughs> the next product that i have here is the orbe bright blonde shampoo for beautiful color i paid 34.99 for this product but it retails for 46 dollars this is still available on the orbe website this is like the iconic orbe shaped product i always see these shampoo bottles they even have like huge ones um but this is what this one looks like it says lather indulge and rinse this is for blonde hair, obviously. It says, immediately illuminate a blonde and silver hair. This revitalizing violet shampoo corrects brassiness and yellow tones while brightening natural highlights for hair that is healthier, shinier, lit from within. Um, so it's formulated without parabens, sulfates, and sodium chloride. Color and keratin treatment safe, UV protection for hair, vegan, cruelty-free, and gluten-free. Um, so basically it has, it's very good for your hair, it sounds like. Um, and obviously I have blonde hair and I have been lightening this like top section of my hair more recently and it is brassier than like the ends of my hair. So I have been using purple shampoo quite a bit. So I can't wait to try this one out. This will be the most expensive shampoo I've ever used in my life. This is almost $50 for this little guy right here. And this is 8.5 fluid ounces, which is 250 milliliters. I also picked up the matching conditioner. This is the Bright Blonde Conditioner for Beautiful Color. This one I also paid $34.99 for, but it retails for a whopping $48. This comes in a little squeezy tube like so. Oops, I'm showing you the back. Um, this is what the packaging looks like. I think it's so cute. Very bougie. <laughs> um, this is 200 milliliters. And again, it says massage, indulge for at least one minute and rinse. 
I already threw the box away. This says restore brightness and shine to blonde and silver hair. This deeply nourishing violet conditioner corrects brassiness and yellow tones while imparting strength, softness, and sheen for hair that is truly enlightened. So again, I cannot wait to try this out and let you guys know how that goes. The next product that I have to talk about is the Orbe Wave and Shine Spray. This retails for $44, but I paid $34.99 for it. This is the 8.5 ounce size, and this is what the product looks like right here. Beautiful packaging. I love Orbe's packaging so freaking much. This says, attention island hoppers and champagne poppers. Get beach to bombshell hair, tousled touchable waves with sun-kissed shine without the salty stiffness. That sounds good to me. Um, our moisturizing glamour spray uses rich extracts and exotic oils for lush up hair and sultry texture. Shake spray on wet or dry hair, tousled to taste, and let it dry in the Saint-Tropez air. Follow with lipstick and heels how cute is that description um so i sorry the phone is ringing again so i'm not a big fan of texture sprays and like sea salt kind of sprays typically because i hate the way that they make my hair feel because it always feels so stiff i never use hairspray because i just hate the way that it makes my hair feel so i'm glad to see that this claims to not leave your hair stiff um i'll definitely again try this out and let you guys know how that goes and then i have one more product to show you guys, this is the Orbe Curl Gloss Hydration and Hold. I paid $29.99 for this product right here. It retails for $42, and this, along with the Wave Spray, are both still available on the Orbe website. So this is what the product looks like right here. Again, gorgeous packaging. Um, this says, curl without crunch. This lightweight glossing gel shapes and shines for ultra hydrating control. A blend of Brazilian extracts including passion flower, jicama and kupuacum don't know how you say that fight humidity and deeply condition for soft yet defined curls that hold all day apply to damp hair define curls diffuse or air dry um again uv protection paraben sulfate sodium chloride free vegan cruelty free gluten free all of that um and i do actually naturally have pretty wavy hair borderline curly hair um so I have been wanting to try to figure out a way that I can let it air dry and it not look insane. So I saw this and I was like really excited because hopefully this works out well for me. I feel like my hair is so like wavy, but it's like poofy. So um, this is supposed to define the curls a little bit more. So we'll see how this goes as well. Um, but yeah, that's everything that I ordered from the TJ Maxx website. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys have ever purchased anything from the TJ Maxx website or if you guys go on there and find Find something really cool let me know what it is down below um, I actually have had a couple of you guys comment letting me know that there's some cool things on there after I purchased all this stuff and I was like "Ooh, you guys already know or you don't even know that I already hit the jackpot so that was today's video I hope you all enjoyed if you did please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up I love you guys so so much don't forget to check out my video on the new Norvina palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills and don't forget to check out the TJ Maxx website I found some really really cool deals I love you guys so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye